Hey there, it's Alina here from Excavate Mastery. And today I wanna to talk about the online version of Xactomy. Xactomy is actually rolling out a new platform where the old version that looks like version 28 is going to go away and a new version of X1 online is gonna be integrated and it's actually happening right now. So I wanted to release this video, let you guys see what the differences are. The dashboards do look quite a bit different, but it's really not all that different once you get into an estimate. So I'm gonna show you that here in this video. Let's go take a look at what it looks like with the old version and the new one that's being rolled out right now here in the online version of Xactivate. So this is the older version of Xactimate Online. It's actually run on something called Silverlight that is being phased out by Microsoft and it was kind of hard to use because you had to use Internet Explorer and my computer won't let me use Internet Explorer. I don't know about you. I couldn't get it to run and then I'd have it push me over to Microsoft Edge, which wouldn't run Silverlight. So I had to get a plug in for Chrome. all of that to say it's great with this new version of what they've been doing, rolling out with the X1 look, because now we can use any platform to run Xactimate, except for you have to be on a PC. I tried it on my Mac mini the other day and it, I got as far as the login screen. It let me log in and get into the new dashboard of the new version. But then it said, whenever I tried to enter a project, it said, you must have a Windows system to open this project. So I was like, ah, I was so close to using it on my Mac. Anyhow, here we are. This is the older look. As you can see, we have our control center dashboard. That's where I'm at. Used to be able to add new projects right here. We also had the main tab projects, which listed my whole host of projects, my whole history, and then the price list also were, were lived here and we could edit the price list here. That has actually gone away in X1 as well as the projects tab. So you won't see either of these in the newer version. Uh, and they've moved these around and just reorganized them on this blue ribbon is what they call it. So let's take a look at the new version, which is called X1 is really what the look that they're going for. It looks more synonymous with the desktop version of X1 and then the mobile version looks like that has this look. So let's go take a look at what that one looks like. So this is the dashboard of the new look of the online version. And so you'll see the projects over here, preferences, and that's it on this blue ribbon that they have. There's the tabs have gone away. Again, you can't see the price list here and some of the other features have been removed. Also essentially, the online version acts as the cloud for the desktop or the mobile version. So you'll see a lot of my projects here are checked out because they're being used over on the desktop version or the mobile version, and they are not able to be accessed because someone else is working on them. When that person sends that estimate back up to the cloud, that's when you'll be able to work on it on the online version. So that's kind of the thought behind this is this is where it stores your projects and people can work on them out in the field and then send them back up to the cloud and then you can access them from the online version. You can also create new projects here. So we could create an estimate and just put in here test and create it. So as you can see, now that we're in an estimate, it actually looks pretty much similar to the online version of 28. So if you collapse this blue ribbon, you do have the tabs up top that you used to have. You have the main tab, claim info, insured info, coverage loss, and parameters. That's all looks just like it does in 28. Let me go show you the project over there. So here we are in 28, as you can see, main tab, claim info, insured info, coverage loss, parameters. The next tabs, we have the sketch, estimate items, and complete. That's all just been moved over onto the blue ribbon. We have our sketch, estimate items, and then you'll notice that complete is way down here. Actually, I like to go to reports is actually my new complete as I like to pull out a PDF. I don't really complete any of my estimates as a contractor. Anyhow, as you can see, they've just taken those tabs that are up top and put them over here on this blue ribbon. If I collapse the blue ribbon and you see the main part of my screen, it looks just like the online version does as far as the 28 look. There's the report screen in 28 and here's the report screen in X1. So really, really similar. Just to drive that home a little bit. We'll open up this blue ribbon again, go to estimate and go to sketch. Here's my sketch screen in the version of X1, the online version of X1. 
And then here's the sketch screen, the online version of 28 and what that looked like. One last thing I wanted to mention is where they move the photos. So again, if we expand in the new X1 version, expand this ribbon on the left-hand side, you can see here that we have photos. That's where they've moved them. So in 28, we're used to seeing the photos section up here in this tiny little icon that says images. It looks like a little stack of photos. That's where we used to have to add our photos there to get our images loaded to the estimate. Now it's a lot more prominent and easy to to see so that's a great change there once we're in the estimate and expand that blue ribbon we've got photos right here and it's a lot easier to see where to go in my opinion i think that's easier to find than that tiny little stack of photos icon that they had in, in version 28. so that's definitely an improvement an easy way to find your photos just go right on over to that blue ribbon but remember to uncollapse it right we gotta whoop, make it come back up and then we can see all of the options there on that toolbar but if you take a look at the overall picture, there really isn't that many differences. Really, really similar. Not all that much to wrap your head around as far as having to learn a new piece of software. If you feel like that's what's going to happen to you, don't worry. The main dashboard, yes, that does look drastically different. They've taken away some of the functionality that was in the older version with like our price lists and, and some other things, but that's okay. Uh, you've still got some preferences you can work with here and other things and defaults. And remember, this is the cloud. This is where your estimates live. As a backup, if you have the professional version, you have the desktop version, the online version, and the mobile version, and they're all stored ultimately up here in the cloud. So that's what the thought process behind this new X1 look, behind the whole concept of, of having the professional version and the cloud storage there. So this is gonna be the new look for the online version from here on out. Hope that was useful information to you and you won't find that it's too difficult to transition from version 28 over to X1, especially in the online version. And the meat potatoes really are quite the same from one version to the other. So hopefully that's comforting information for you and you can get used to the changes quickly and easily. My name is Alina Wilson with Exmate Mastery. If you like this video, please be sure to like, and of course, subscribe down below. That really helps out my channel. It's like gold actually for me here on YouTube. So if you would do that, that'd be awesome. For more information on the training I offer for contractors in Xactimate to help you stop leaving money on the table and stop wasting a ton of time, go over to ExtimateMastery.com and take a look at the trainings that we currently have over there for you for free. And I hope you guys have a super great week in your business and I'll see you next week.